good. Get in, oh. losers. We're going oh. on a road oh. trip. Oh, <laughs> we're in a car. We're going to a lake of some sort. I don't know where we're going. I'm just a backseat. Yeah. Backseat driver. You got a Coke Zero. You just follow. We're just following him. Yeah. Captain T is the driver today. We've got our pass passenger princess. <laughs> Classic. Just me and the gals. <laughs> gals on the go. Alright. We made it. We got the VIP parking spot. I think that took about 45 minutes with our little pit stop for gas. And there's a lot of people here, a lot of buses, a lot of cars. So now we have to wait in a line. Don't know how long this is going to take. Hi. That they also took cash. It was really annoying. You excited? Like restaurants and split. I've been here before. You've done it? Is it nice? Yes. You can be our tour guide. From my understanding, we're doing both the cave and the lake. So it's the Melisani Lake and the Dro Drogarati? Drogarati? Okay. We'll see. Believe it or not, I did no research prior to this, so I had no idea what I was walking into. And considering how long the line was, it moved very fast. We've got our ticket and we got a little discount with our sea pass, so it was seven euro instead of ten. Super slay. Captain is also vlogging, but on his GoPro. I'm vlogging on vlogging. I'm gonna like vlog the vlog. You know, add you to my vlog so I'll have more subscriptions. <laughs> When you see it. <gasps> oh! Melisani is located in Caravomilos, Kera just two kilometers from the town of Sami. Salami. Hello. It's a unique cave structure with the lake whose waters reach a depth of 39 meters. The cave is 160 meters long and 40 meters wide. In order to access the lake, you have to go underground, so we had to go through this cave, which was so cool and definitely added to the experience. I think we're getting in one all together. Yes, we're getting all in one together. This is exciting! Exciting! Jordan, Yay! get inside. I can confidently say I have never experienced something like this before, and it was awesome that I got to share it with the rest of my cast as well. I am honestly just so grateful that I get to have experiences like this. We've had so many cool excursions this contract and I'm grateful for Taras for researching and looking into this because without him, we probably would have never seen it. The boat ride itself probably lasted around 15 minutes. Ooh. What's up? It kind of is giving Stranger Things vibes. Back now. <laughs> Back now. We basically just made a big loop throughout the cave and I couldn't believe how blue and clear the water was. I wanted to jump right in and take a dip, but obviously I didn't. And all around, just a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, this experience completely exceeded my expectations. Okay. We're out. That was a quick... A quick little loop. We are probably on the boat for like 10 minutes, maybe 15, but really cool to see. I am happy though that we could get the whole cast on one boat. I was worried that we were going to have to separate, but it was all of us plus like four other, four other people. I'm out of breath. Stop number two. Thank you. Once again, I was absolutely blown away by this cave. Again, nothing like I've ever seen. And obviously I didn't know much about the cave going into it because I didn't do my research and just showed up for the excursion pretty much. But I did learn that the cave was discovered when there was a strong earthquake and the earthquake caused a collapse that revealed the cave's entrance. The most insane part about this cave is that it is around 150 million years old 150 can you believe that we're back in the car we the made clown it, car we made it out of the caves alive we, 
we did. <laughs> did not get eaten. <laughs> not clickbait. But at one point, when we were coming back out of the cave, we were the only ones in there, which was pretty cool. It was spooky. Spooky. Super spooky. It was a very large cave, though. I couldn't believe how big it was. Now we're gonna go get lunch. Some gyros. Somewhere. I don't know where we're going, but the girl that worked at the cave entrance recommended us a place, and I think that's where we're going. And then we go to the beach. And then, Maybe. yeah, then we're going to the beach. Maybe take a little dip. I don't have a towel. I have a towel. We will, Captain's got a towel. We will strap you to the roof and you can air drive. <laughs> oh my car? <laughs> dollar for every time we tried to go to a restaurant in port and it was closed. Oh I would have two dollars. Oh I would be pretty, I'd be getting up there. I'd probably have like ten dollar bill. I'd have a ten dollar bill. But it's all right. <laughs> we're gonna move on to the next place. Okay, we're at Taka Taka Mom and we're gonna get gyros. That's the vibe. That's the pita souvlaki. That's what's happening. Pita souvlaki chicken. made it to the beach. Our third and final stop of the day. We got some nice sunbeds. These look very comfortable, actually. I don't think that this will ever live up to Europolis. However, I'm very excited. A Euro in this view. Mmm. Chicken is very flavorful. Croatia. It's day two of the cruise and we just finished an hour and a half drill. So now we're off the ship. We're gonna walk around a little bit. It's Calum's first time here and then maybe grab a bite to eat. We were thinking about doing the hike but not today. I like these little change purses. We have made it to my favorite spot, Oakberry, and I'm gonna get a little acai before we make our way to submarine for lunch. Is it not open? Don't tell me it's closed. Oh, okay, it's just not busy. Our food has arrived. I decided to get the half salad instead of the large portion because I just ate the acai bowl. But I got the avocado caprese salad. It looks amazing. I had it last time we were here. Delicious. Got a side of fries and then Callum got a Beyond burger with a lettuce patty. later today is October 11th and we are in Santorini today we tried to get off the ship this morning we woke up at 6 30 to be on the first tender which is always what we do in Santorini but the hotel director would not let us off the ship there was even like 15 free spots on the first tender and there was only five of us so we definitely could have fit but yeah for whatever reason we were not allowed 
So we ended up just staying on board, had breakfast, and now we're gonna play pickleball instead because everyone's getting off the ship. So we've changed, we're gonna go up to the sports deck, play a game of pickleball, and just have a nice day on board because I have shows later tonight. Court to ourselves, would you look at that? Next step is getting our own rackets. Look at that view. Guess who won? Again. We were gonna play another game, but then the the ball kept going out of the court, so we gave up. And then we played some basketball, and he definitely won the basketball because I cannot <laughs> dribble or shoot a hoop to save my life. Do you have oat milk? That's that almond milk. Or almond milk. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Mm, Thank that's you. The stuff. And can I also have a an iced coconut latte with almond milk, please? So to the side. Oh yeah. Thank you. We'll go down soon. We'll have some good luck, guys. Cheers. Cheers. I have been so bad at vlogging today. My apologies. It's a few hours later. I've been watching Friends and I just got ready for shows tonight. So I finished hair and makeup. But it is time now to head to Studio B. I'm going to preset all my costumes. I'm going to do 30 minutes of warming up on the floor. And then we are going to hop on the ice. And shows tonight are at 8.15 and 10.15. Pretty routine as usual. These are the last shows of this cruise. And then we'll have a few days of rest. Tomorrow we might get up to some fun activities. Don't really know yet. But we are going to be in Mykonos. Time to preset for the show. Got to lay out all of my costumes as I always do. Most of my costume changes are on stage left. I have only one costume stage right and I start the show on stage right. So that's the only time I'm over there and that's a quick change into waltz. Um, but everything else is over here. So my costumes live over here and we're gonna lay them all out. are good to go and I've just made myself a little snack before the shows. It's 6 o'clock right now and our shows are at 8.15 and 10.15 so this is the last thing I'm going to eat until after showtime. I just cannot eat dinner before shows. It's just how I am. So this is good because I'm getting a lot of protein with the Greek yogurt um, and then I've just topped it with some granola and blueberries and then I added in cinnamon and honey to the yogurt. So I'm going to munch on this. 
Today is actually our ice captain's birthday, so I did make him a little card. I'm really happy with how it turned out. His track in this show is Spring, so he is the Bumblebee solo. So I made the card yesterday, and I hope he likes it. We couldn't find a card in port, so I just decided to make him one. And then we all chipped in for a little gift for him. So we will probably celebrate a little bit after the shows tonight. We always have show food after, and then maybe we'll have like a little toast, or maybe we'll go back deck. I'm not really sure but that is the agenda for today. We did it. Two shows down. Finished. Second one was extremely hard for me. I'm I'm very tired. But we made it through and now we can enjoy a little birthday celebration for Taras. Happy birthday to you. There you go. This is a present from us. Thank you guys. Hope you like it. Happy birthday. Have a what? Oh my god. How did you know, guys? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Green and then love it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> it's so good. It's another day off in port. Today we're in Mykonos. It is Thursday, so it's day five of the cruise. We are just off the ship. It's a beautiful fall day. Still pretty hot actually, considering it's middle of October, but I just got off with Graham and we're just gonna shop a little bit, walk around, maybe get some lunch. Once again, there's really no set plan, but we are in port until like seven o'clock, so we could stay off until then if we wanted. I can't believe Salt Bay closed. The first time we were here, this was Salt Bay Restaurant, and now it's just gone. They picked up and left, I don't, I don't know. We're on the hunt for a blue and white little number for Grammy. Is that the small? Yeah. That looks nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, at once. <laughs> Versatile. This is for the morning and this is for the night time. <laughs> Club. Yeah. <laughs> Not a club. Not a club. <laughs> wow, this is two weeks in a row I've bought something while in Mykonos. I kind of like the yellow, this yellow bag. Wow, those are stunning, but those would pull my whole earlobe off of my ear. <laughs> Look at these ones. Those are hefty. I'm very easy to shop for. I love jewelry and I love bags. what time it is now it is lunch time and we're trying out a new place pasta fresca barquilla it feels like we're in Italy right now we're in Greece because the food I just took a peek at the table next to us they got like bread this big it looks so good yes it's me thank you wow 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 looks so good look at that I'm so excited oh my god Oh, wow. It's so good. So fresh. And just like that. Just like that. Thanks for bringing us here. 
That was delicious. Definitely need to come here if you're ever in Mykonos. You should join me. It was so good. Oh <gasps> Pet Pelican. Oh my. It's Petrus. Oh my gosh. The Pet Pelican. I can't believe you're actually he wants to go. This is like the main street and it's very quiet. I know it's mid-October, but the people like just disappeared because a couple hours ago, filled. An absolute disaster from the wind it is so windy out so it's really all over the place but I wanted to show you a little haul of what I bought today I only got two things so so we went into that downstairs store where Graham got his shirt and then I looked at like a 10 euro rack so I found this and I think it's really cute I really wanted to get a graphic tee of some sort from one of these ports but I usually don't like the options that they have they're just really tacky in my opinion but I thought this one was cuter than others I've seen and it was the only one in the whole store so kind of one of a kind and then in Calzedonia I tried on a swimsuit but I didn't end up buying it because it was too big but I did buy a pair of shorts so I got these little red shorts little flowy shorts you can wear them as a cover-up or even just like as a regular pair of shorts and those were seven euros on sale so I found some good bargains today. I had such a nice lunch. Oh my god. That pasta place was incredible. Waiter was really friendly and we got to see Petrus. So it was all around a very successful day and I am so tired now. I'm like wanting to go to the gym but I'm also so tired. Maybe I'll take a little nappy nap and then I will get up there. It's today. I need to check my workout schedule because I'm kind of following a regimen for myself. This says run three miles in lower body. I cannot. Not today. Not today. I've just freshened up and Callum and I are gonna go to Windjammer for dinner tonight. We don't have a reservation because now apparently we need to be on a list but hopefully we can just squeeze in because it's 8 30 already so hopefully it won't be too too busy but this is my outfit for tonight. This is part of a set from Revolve and then I've got a little skirt and my black strappy heels in. Let's go to dinner. I'm very hungry. And then we're gonna have an early night. 